today is going to be one of my most requested videos on how to pose models or tips for models or tips for photographers on posing your model. So um, I came up with 10 different things. Um, so let's get started. My first piece of advice for you is to make sure that you are comfortable with each other. The model and photographer relationship needs to not be awkward because that will 100% translate into your pictures. So make sure you start off a conversation and kind of make sure you have like good vibes going in between you guys. Otherwise your pictures will not turn out the way that you want them to. My next tip I have for you is for the model and make sure you get into character. What I mean by that is that generally every single shoot has a concept or a theme. It can be, you know, innocent and calm or like edgy and fierce. So make sure that you really embody the character and the theme of whatever is happening in your shoot. Number three, make sure there's always movement. I really encourage you guys to kind of step away from doing just like pose after pose after pose. When you when you're modeling, try to kind of move from each pose slightly so you're always um, shooting when the when the model is moving. I encourage this by either playing some music um, that encourages like the model to kind of be free and to dance. So I'm always personally playing playing music. And the other thing I said is that it's really helpful when the photographer gives the model scenarios to act out um, or like really vivid imagery like um, pretend you're at the beach or um, pretend you're like hiking in your favorite mountain and you just got to the top of it and you're just feeling really free like that's one of your favorite moments in your life and just tell them to really act that out. Words sometimes fall short so if you cannot effectively kind of explain to your model what you're looking for Give them the camera and act it out. Show them what you want. Yes, you might look like a fool doing it because you might not be a model, but it really helps them kind of see what you're trying to say. I know that when I try to explain poses, I tend to like stutter because I have it in my head, but I can't explain it correctly. So I'm like, here you go. This is what I want you to do. They're like, okay. And so that really helps. So don't be afraid to act things out and look silly. Number five, facial expressions can be really, really hard. So as the photographer, you need to make sure that you direct your model with facial expressions as well. So make sure you to tell them like, hey, I would like a more serious face in this shot, or be happy, or what I often do is I tell people to fake laugh, and that usually provokes real laughter because you feel like really ridiculous doing it. Um, so just make sure that you're kind of focusing on the face because that's kind of where I think all of the emotion comes from is your facial expressions. So um, it's really hard sometimes. It takes practice. So if you're a model, kind of look at yourself in the mirror, take selfies all the time, whatever you have to do, but practice different facial expressions, and that will make you become a better model and have better poses for your pictures. As a photographer, it is really important to make corrections and give encouragement at the same time. Constructive criticism, um, honestly, is what models are looking for. Even if they're experienced, it's um, good to kind of know where a model is like lacking or doing really good. So when you give a correction, make sure that you encourage them at the same time because modeling is not as easy as it seems. To give another aspect to posing, I encourage using props. I'm sure in a lot of my photos you've seen that I use like sparklers or flower crowns. I also use a prop as in like a cardigan or a kimono because I really like the movement. Um, so I really encourage finding props, looking on Pinterest or whatever um, different other, other photographers pictures. Um, and so just find a prop, bring it along with you. You might use it, you might not, but that can really help um, make the model more comfortable and give you a lot more um, picture ideas. Number eight is for the models. Um, if you are inexperienced or like not really professional yet or just still learning and practicing, make sure that you look at other models' works. Find a few models that you like and look through magazines, um, other photographers, and kind of study what they're doing, their movements, their facial expressions, how they're moving their head, the angles and everything. Um, and so that's kind of self-explanatory. Just study other models and that will help you become a better model as well. Tip number nine is to remember that you're modeling from head to toe. Remember your fingers, remember your toes, your whole entire body needs to be engaged because you don't really know where you're your, where your photographer is shooting. They could be just shooting like your hand area or like just your face or like kind of like your, um, you know, if it's a stylized shoot, focusing on like maybe a belt or like your shoes. So make sure you are posing every single part of your body. My last and final tip is to make sure you are looking everywhere. Don't always look straight into the camera. Um, take it upon yourself to look to the side, look down, look off into the distance. Um, close, even close your eyes. I love pictures with eyes closed. I know that sounds silly, but those are some of my favorites. Uh, but just make sure as a model that you're looking everywhere so you can give each picture a different feel. Those are my top 10 tips for how to pose models or how to pose as a model. I hope those answered all of your questions. The last thing I want to mention is that I get a lot of questions asking what music I like to play on my photo shoots. So I went ahead and made a playlist on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that out. Feel free to play it um, during your photo shoots. 
Um, other than that, that's all I have for you. If you have any more questions, always feel free to ask me them and I'll make sure to answer them. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.